Hello and welcome to this session on JMeter beginner tutorial and today we are going to learn how can we count and assert the nodes from a JSON response. So we are going to see how do we get the count of child nodes or objects from a JSON response and then we will learn how can we assert or validate that count. Towards the end of this session we will also look at some useful tips. So let's get started and let me go to my JMeter and in this I am going to create a thread group and inside the thread group I will add a sampler HTTP request and now I have to add some API request so that I get a JSON response. So for that let us search for some sample REST API and we have got lot of options. So I will go to this particular website REQRES and they have some really good APIs for testing and let us take this list users API. So for this I will just copy this URL and go to the new tab of browser and paste it here and then I will copy the path of the API which is this one the request and again paste it to the browser here and let me run it and yes we are getting a JSON response however it is not very well formatted so let us go to some online JSON editor or JSON beautifier and here let me go here and I will paste the response here and say beautify and yes you can see we have got a very good JSON response so in this response we have some elements here and then we have a data element or node and it has these child elements so there are three users inside the data so we have this one two and three so let us use this and let us assert this particular response also you can go to some JSON editor so uh, let me go to a JSON editor online and yeah this is a good one and I will paste the same response here and yes you can again see this has given us in a slightly different manner where we can actually see the number of nodes or the number of objects so inside data we have three objects so this is an array containing three items and of course we have seen we have these three users here okay so now let us go back to my JMeter and I have to copy this request from here and let me go back to my JMeter and I will just paste it here and of course HTTPS will go here in the protocol and the rest of the path will go here so I will just delete it from here and yes our request is ready let me just create a very quick listener I will add a listener view results tree and let me run it let me save and run it and yes we are getting the request and we are getting the response now let us go to our main topic which is we have to assert or count the number of nodes or the number of objects in an array so as we have seen here we are going to assert that this data has three elements or this array has three items inside it as a child nodes and this is what we can see here as well this is a data array and then we have these three elements inside this so for that what we are going to do is I'll go to my JMeter and I will go to my request do a right click go to add post processors and I will add a JSON extractor so this is a JSON extractor and here what I'm going to do is here I will say I can give any name of a variable so I will say uh, let us say this is user count and now I have to give the JSON path expression that will fetch the data or the count from the JSON response so let us see we have this particular JSON response and we have to go to data and you can see data is at the very first level 
ID, first name and all these are at the second level but data is at the first level. So what I will do is, I will say here dollar dot single dot because we are going at the first level and the name which is data and square brackets and I will put a star because I have to take the count. So I will just put a star here and then here in match number I will say minus 1. Now why I am saying minus 1 here you can go to uh, my channel on YouTube so you can go to youtube.com and go to automation step by step and if you go to the playlists there is a playlist for JMeter tips and tricks if you go here so if you go here JMeter tips and trick I have created a session earlier on JSON extractor and here it is what is JSON extractor and how do you use it so you can watch this session so that you will come to know exactly what we are doing so I am giving minus one so that it will fetch all the data and it will also fetch the count in a new variable so what it will do is it will create a new variable and store the count so to check it what I'm going to do is I will use the step-by-step -step debugger so you can go to run and click on step-by-step -step debugger in case you are not getting this again I have created an, a session earlier on step-by-step -step debugger so you can watch that as well how you can get and use this step-by-step -step debugger and I also have the icon here as well so I will just click here and this will give me my step-by-step -step debugger window and here I will say start and now step by step I will say step over so it has gone to it has ran the request and now it has gone to JSON extractor and if you see down in the variable section as of now our variable user count has not yet come so I will say step over again and now it has not yet come even now so let me see okay I will save it and run it again and let me run it now step over and again step over and yes see now we have got our variables now you see what it has done is we had created only the variable user count but what it has done is it has dynamically created a new variable which is user count underscore match number and taken the count of the number of elements inside the array and given us the count here so this is a dynamically generated element so whatever variable name you will give it will add underscore match number and give you the value and also it gives us the details as well with user count underscore 1 2 and 3 so now we are interested in this particular variable because it is giving us the count and now we want to assert this so what I'm going to do here now is I will add a assertion response assertion and in this response assertion I'm going to click on this JMeter variable name to use and here I will say user count underscore match number the variable that is created dynamically and I will say this should be equals to and I will say add and give the count here which is 3 okay so let us save and run it and you can see we have got a successful response and just to validate that whether our accession is working fine or not I will change the number I will say this is 2 here and save and try to run it again and see it has failed this time and the failure is we are expecting 2 but it has received 3 so that means our accession is working fine now a useful tip is you can also use another element which is json path extractor so if you again do a right click on your request and go to add post processor you will find a json path extractor here and let us use this and this works in the same way I will do the same thing I will say give any variable name and say dollar dot data and star in square brackets and that's it and now I'm going to uh, disable the json extractor and see if it works fine now or not so i will again run this 
and you can see it has given us a correct response if I change the assertion here make it 2 and try to run this you can see it has given us that it received 3 but we were comparing with 2 so our assertions are working fine I hope you like this session please hit the like button and share it with others and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can keep receiving new videos on automation testing DevOps and CI I will meet you in the next episode Thank you for watching.